So, multiplying decimals by a single digit, it just means as in a number between 1 and 9. So, let's look at this first question. 112.4 multiplied by 7. All we're going to do is multiply it normally first and sort of forget about the decimal point. So I'm going to times everything by 7. So 7 times 4 is 28. So put the 8, carry the 2. 7 times 2 is 14. Add on the 2, 16. So 6, carry 1. 7 times 1 is 7. Add on the 1, 8. 7 times 1 is 7. So there's my number. Now I count. Now I need to decide where the decimal point goes. Now, we count how many digits are behind the decimal point in the question. So in this question, there's only one number behind the decimal point. So we need one number in our answer behind the decimal point. So it goes between the 6 and the 8. So my answer is 786.8. Let's look at the next question. Now we've got it written the other way around, 6 times 205.13. I'm still going to set it out so that I have the decimal number at the top and the single digit at the bottom. So I'm going to times everything by 6 this time. So 6 times by 3 is 18, so 8 carry 1. 6 times by 1 is 6, add on the 1, 7. 6 times by 5 is 30, so 0 carry 3. 6 times by 0 is 0, add on the 3. 6 times 2 is 12. Now, I look at my uh, question, see how many digits are behind the decimal point. So that's 1, 2. So if there's two digits behind the decimal point in the question, there needs to be two in my answer. So my answer is 1,230.78.